Hey everyone, I'm Valerie, and I'm excited to show you how to connect Evernote and Google Calendar. If you're like me, your day moves as fast as you can think. With Evernote and Google Calendar connected, your notes and schedule come together so nothing gets lost in the shuffle. Your ideas and decisions stay connected to the people, places, and activities that sparked them without any extra effort. Basically, you become more organized, Evernote becomes more helpful, and your meetings become more productive. Today, I'm going to show you how that's possible. I'll walk you through connecting your Google Calendar and show you how the feature works so you can get started right away. Okay, let's take a look on a desktop first. The Google Calendar connection lives on your home dashboard and here you can see the new calendar widget. Go ahead and click on connect to Google Calendar From here, you can choose the account you'd like to connect and click allow to get Evernote access. Choose the calendars you'd like to see and then click connect. Let's check out the calendar widget. You can click on the left and right arrows to see the previous and next day. And you can click on the date to choose a specific date to view. When you click on this icon, it brings you back to today's date. Right now, we're viewing the calendar in the timeline view, which shows your events on a timeline. So it's easy to visualize when you have events and when you have breaks. To try a different view, Click on the three dots here in the upper right corner and select list. This view condenses your events into a list with the time of each event listed here underneath the title. If you'd like to see an expanded view of the calendar, you can click on the calendar widget name and it will open up. You can also change the calendar widget size or position. So let's click on customize. You can choose small, medium, or large. So let's go with medium. And I'll move the widget over to the right here, but you can move it wherever you'd like and then click done. Now let's take a look at an event. Click on an event and you can see the event title, date and time, conference link or location, participants, and a description if there is one. You'll also see options to create a new note for the event, link an existing note, find related notes, or open the event in Google Calendar. Let's create a new note for this event. There's a few different ways to do that. You can either do it from here or simply click on the new note icon here in the event in the widget. You now have a pre-formatted note with all the event details and sections for action items and notes ready to go before your meeting starts. You can collapse and expand the meeting details, type in some action items using our new tasks feature, and type in some notes. The other way you can create or link a note to an event is from the note editor. So let's start with a new note. Click the insert button in the formatting bar and select calendar event. Choose an event from your calendar and then click insert. This note is now linked to an event. Let's go back to the calendar widget and home. Now that I've linked a note to this event, you'll see the icon is now gray and you can easily open that note by clicking on the icon. You can also link multiple notes to one event. If you do, you will see this icon with two notes instead of one and you can open them by clicking the icon.
If you ever need to unlink a note from an event, maybe you've accidentally linked the wrong note or you just want to change it, it's really simple. Just click on the header of the event and select the trash icon. When prompted, click on delete and then your note is no longer linked to that event. Now let's take a look on mobile. Since I've already connected Google Calendar, we can get straight into it. The calendar widget works similarly to how it does on desktop. When you tap on the left or right arrows, it brings up a full view screen. You can tap on the arrows to see the previous or next day. And you can tap on the date to choose a different date. To switch to the list view instead of timeline view, tap on the three dots here in the upper right corner, tap on view options and select list. Let's go back to home by tapping on the green back arrow. You can change the placement of the calendar widget just as you can with all of the home widgets on mobile. Tap on the customize icon and move the widget where you want it. And then tap done. Tap on an event to see the details and more options. And just as I showed you on desktop, you can tap on the new note icon to create a new note for an event. And you can tap on the gray note icon to open an existing note for an event. Now from a new or existing note, you can link a calendar event by tapping on the blue plus button and selecting calendar event. The last thing I'd like to show is for our professional and Teams customers, you can connect additional Google accounts to Evernote, up to five accounts. From the calendar widget, tap on the three dots in the upper right corner and select add account. From here, you can follow the prompts to sign into another Google account, just as we did before. And then to connect additional accounts, follow those steps. So that's Evernote and Google Calendar. We're excited for the ways that connecting your calendar to Evernote will help you get more done. And I hope this helps you get started. Bye.